Hello all, let us continue our discussion on Arduino boards. In this video, we will talk about the GPIO pins on the Arduino board. So, in previous videos, we have already talked that uh, the GPIO pins of an Arduino board can be used to connect uh, uh, different uh, things on the PCB, right? Example, if you want to control an LED, um, if you want to control a BJT, FET, or if you want to connect a relay, whatever, you can control those particular uh, uh, <coughs> interfaces by using a GPIO, right? So now, if you are operating your microcontroller under normal working condition, everything works as you expected. But in between, there might be some scenarios where you might want to reset your microcontroller. So in those cases, right, you are, uh, a, a microcontroller will be held in reset for a short period of time. Or you might want to hold it in reset for a longer time, depending on some of the needs that you have in the application. So in those cases, what happens is all these GPIOs, which are interfaced to external circuitry all go into state called tri-state. Tri-state means it is an undefined state. It is either 0 or 1 and you can not drive anything on the pin. That's the simplest way to put it. Now, in this case, right, it is very, very important that we need to terminate these pins such that the interfaces that are externally connected to this holds a specific uh, uh, default condition. And for this, we can definitely use the internal pull up and pull down uh, present on the GPO pins. But for any microcontroller, uh, when the, it is reset, what happens is uh, these internal pull-ups and pull-downs uh, doesn't come into picture. The, the pins <coughs> shall be held in an impedance state and uh, you don't see anything. So in such cases, right, we need to have external pull-ups and pull-downs. So all unused pins, uh, considering uh, uh, the EMI concerns, which we will talk in future videos, should be terminated properly externally uh, by uh, a, <coughs> a pull up so uh, that's that's a very very important point so while using why your uh, Arduino board or while you're designing a board with the 80 mega 3 to 8p from scratch you need to remember these points and the next very very important point is now we are saying that we will be connecting this Arduino board to LED or a BJT, MOSFET, whatever uh, devices, right? In such cases, your Arduino board has to supply that sufficient current to drive the devices. Like example, if you take an LED, if you see the data sheets, uh, LED could be a SMD LED, it could be a through-hole LED, right? So through-hole LED will have more current. That means it can uh, take up to more than 10 milliamps. The SMD LEDs, um, 5 to 10 milliamps. So you have to check the specific data sheet for those currents. So that means if you have connected 5 LEDs, which can uh, take 10 milliamps, that means you need 50 milliamps of current for those uh, um, 5 LEDs, right? Which is actually huge. So for the while connecting these leds or anything we have uh, specific uh, constraints on how much current can be supplied on the gpio by the 80 mega 3 to 8p so that simply that condition is basically you cannot exceed more than 40 milliamps that's what it is mentioned a dc current per i open so you cannot have more than 40 milliamps which is absolute maximum rating so, uh, people do not go near absolute maximum rating, right? Uh, uh, they don't know what happens to the device. Even the characterization doesn't happen uh, at that uh, 
maximum ratings the, the characterization generally happens at typical values so it is better that we always restrict the, the interfaces that are connected to gpio pins not um, more than 20 milliamps and then if you combine all the ports together the you cannot have 20 milliamps on all the port pins combined. So that's not possible again. So <clears throat> the total current that can be uh, considered combining all the Arduino, you know, IO pins is a maximum of 200 milliamps. So that means you cannot exceed more than 200 milliamps combining all these pins. So when it comes to ports, right, you have PA, PB, PC ports. So combining all those pins, now you can see that on an average, the, the uh, current <coughs> that can be taken uh, out from a specific pin is very, very less, right? So while we talk about this, inside the microcontroller, we have something called push-pull configuration. So you can see here the output pin and this uh, basically is a push-pull configuration where the gate of this uh, MOSFET is controlled by an internal signal and <coughs> you have a combination of a PMOS and NMOS. So let, let us assume when you want to drive the output pin high, what happens is this NMOS will be disabled and PMOS will be enabled in in such case you drive this VDD uh, you drive high on the output pin and in a case where you want to take input and sync the current what we do is we disable this PMOS and then you sync the current so forcing and syncing of the current <coughs> are very very important parameters uh, uh, while using the uh, GPIO pins of Arduino Uno. In fact, it's not just Arduino Uno, you take any microcontroller, it is very very important specification. You cannot connect load as per your uh, requirement and what happens is there might be a chance that your, your interface might not work or uh, because uh, it was trying to pull high current internally the AT mega 328p might get damaged there is every chance so if you are using any um, microcontroller other than Arduino you need to check how uh, these uh, uh, the GPO configurations are built in whether there is a default pull up or pull down configurations that are available <coughs> What is the default state? Is it pull up or pull down or do we need to configure the registers? So all these parameters need to be considered while using the GPIO pins. So while the GPIO usage looks very simple, right? There are some uh, background things that uh, the designer has to understand um, and uh, uh, go forward with the designs or with the usage of uh, these evaluation kits. It is very, very important that internals of 80 mega 3 to 8p are understood before using the Arduino, you know, um, or before playing around uh, Arduino, you know, with uh, different applications. Hope we gave a glimpse on uh, uh, the GPIOs configurations and usage. We will talk in uh, in detail uh, on some of the other things in the future videos thank you